Hey guys, so I am recording on my cell phone right now because my digital camera is giving me an error message so I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm trying to troubleshoot it. I'm actually using YouTube to find out ways to troubleshoot it. But for right now, I am going to be recording on my phone. So it's going to make it a little harder because i got to hold the phone with one hand. I don't have a tripod for my phone. And i got to do the work with the other. So I'm going to try to rig this some way so you can see what I'm doing. But anyway, let me show you what I'm about to do. All right, guys. So this brisket, I'm going to um, vacuum seal. So I made this in my slow cooker. And I just sliced it up. So now I'm just vacuum sealing it just to um, keep it fresh longer in my freezer. So... I'm going to vacuum seal up all the brisket I made. We're having some for dinner and the rest of it will be sealed up and frozen. All right, so I just need to clean that up because it's um, that's just the juice from my brisket. But there you go. Just wiped out the top of it. It's nicely sealed. Ready to go to the freezer. Okay, so. I'm about to start my meal prep and I am going to be cooking, I'm going to actually cook one of these packages of ground beef. It's actually going to be this one because it's more in this one. It's just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to cook this one and this is going to be for um, my ravioli lasagna, some beef stroganoff, just some taco meat that I already have. Sorry about that guys, my phone rang. So that's the problem with recording on your phone. Um, but like I was saying, I'm gonna be making um, ravioli lasagna. I'm gonna cook some for beef stroganoff. I'm also gonna be doing just some ground beef that'll be cooked for tacos or spaghetti or whatever. So we're gonna do that with one package and with the other package, I'm gonna make a meatloaf and some meatballs that I will um, freeze for males to have later sometime in the month. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is what I'm going to put in it. This is, um, actually I only did five, a little over five pounds of the one package that had a little over six pounds in it. So I put the rest of that with the ground beef that I'm cooking because I only need about two pounds for the, um, meatloaf. And then I'm going to use the rest of it to do the meatballs so I'm gonna put in there that's my daughter in case anybody's wondering what that noise is um, this is a normal home here so you're gonna hear um, people anyway I'm gonna put in some garlic some onion powder some Italian style breadcrumbs salt a little mustard some ketchup some Worcestershire sauce. I'm also going to put in some garlic powder and pepper. I forgot to pull those out. So, all those are going to go in here. If you have not seen my previous meal prep videos, if you're new to this channel, I'm going to link those below. So you can see measuring wise about how much I put in of all these items. I'm also going to add three eggs. Um, as you can see, they're all different sizes. My coworker has chickens, so he brings me eggs. Him and his wife. His wife is actually my boss. So they bring me eggs from time to time from their chickens. So I'm only going to use three of them because as you can see, some of them are a little big. So some of them are probably, I might even get a double yolk one out of it. Who knows? Anyway. I'm going to mix all that together, and then I will be back, guys. And again, if you're new to my channel, these are my gloves. I always wear gloves when I'm messing with meat, especially poultry. I don't like to really be touching all over it. Um, but when I'm going to be digging my hands into meat to form it, I don't like it getting under my nails, so I'll wear gloves. Alrighty, guys. I'll be right, right back. Alright, guys. So I got everything mixed up, and then I remembered I did not add any Italian seasoning, so I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm just going to use some aluminum pans. I got a bunch of these. I actually got these, I think a 10-pack of these at, at uh, Walmart 
for I think like four bucks or something. They were really cheap. So um, these are not the really nice sturdy ones, but they're good enough for what I'm going to use them for. So I'm going to put a meatloaf in one of these, and then in the other one, I'm going to layer it with um, meatballs and use some parchment paper to um, go in between um, each row of meatballs, and then I'm going to, like I said, flash freeze it. Once I get them pretty hard, I am going to vacuum seal them in vacuum sealer bags, but I'm going to leave my um, meatloaf just to freeze. I'm going to actually freeze in one of these pans and just wrap it up real nicely. So I'll be back to show you that in just a second. Oh yeah, guys, and by the way, I am already cooking the ground beef, if you did not know. So I was able to fit most of it in there, and then I'll fix this part when that's done. And... I will put together my ravioli lasagna and whatever uh, whatever other dishes I'm going to put together. All right, guys. All right. So there is the meatloaf, and we will definitely have leftovers from that. And I got um, three layers of meatballs in here, and each layer has 16 meatballs. So what's that? 48 meatballs that I got out of that. Um, mixture so that'd be three meals plus that that's four meals that will be already prepped and ready to go these meatballs cook in seven minutes in my pressure cooker I will make them however sometimes I'll do barbecue sometimes I'll do um, with a marinara for a meatball sub sometimes I'll just make spaghetti and meatballs so there you have it guys so I'm gonna clean this bowl out because some of my ground beef is done so I'm gonna start putting together my ravioli lasagna. I'll be back guys. Alright guys, so I told you I'm kind of struggling right now because I don't have um, a tripod um, for my cell phone. So I'm buying an um, attachment that will work on my tripod, tripod I have now so I can use my cell phone to record until I replace my camera. So, see, they're nice and hard. I'm just gonna toss them in there, and then we will vacuum seal it. They peel away from the paper pretty good. As you can see, like some of them seem like they're sticking, but you just have to give them a little pull and they'll come off. And some of them like stick together, but they're not froze froze. So usually I can pop them apart. So. I'll try to get them in there spread out and flat as I can. And then I just go to my vacuum sealer. It takes two hands to do the sealing. Once that's done, it's like a line across it. That's where it's sealed. And there you go. One vacuum seal pack. I The only reason why I like vacuum sealing stuff is because if I don't make it within a certain amount of time, I won't have to really worry about freezer burn for quite a while on these. Even though I, I plan on using up these things this month, a lot of times things change for me. Um, throughout the month to where I don't end up making all the things that I plan to make. So I like to have them in this so I don't have to worry about food getting wasted. So I'm going to finish up and do these last two and then we will have all the meatballs for 
this month done. All right, guys, so I got them all sealed. As you can see, I have three different size bags, which shows you that they're not all evenly like made. These are fatter. This is the first batch. Actually, this was the bottom layer, and they're the biggest ones. So had I made them all kind of, I tried to anyway, make them all about the same size, but had I done that, I probably would have got more um, out of this than I did. I got 48 and I probably would have got more. So that's fine. There'll be plenty. These are nice size. So, you know, I'll have leftovers probably on all of them. Anyway, guys, there are the meatballs ready to go in the freezer.